Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing an in-depth eyebrow routine tutorial. So it is the way I like to do my eyebrows. Um, I know other people do it differently. But if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, then keep watching. Oh, and I know I look like such a hot mess. I've been giving my skin a breather because there's something going on here that I can't seem to fix. So, anyway, um, yeah, so in depth eyebrow routine tutorial. So you want to start off by combing out your eyebrow hairs to make sure none of them are tangled. And when you do comb them out, you want to comb them upwards and then to the side. So the hairs aren't going down. It makes it easier to draw the first line on the under part of your eyebrow. I start off by using my angled brush. It's a very thin one and a brow gel. I will link all the products in the description box below. So you want to start off about three a quarter of the way in to your brow just using small flicking motions um, and not pressing too hard but hard enough you go in with quite a lot of product but um, yeah not too much so just enough to draw quite a dark line and then yeah a quarter of the way in to your brow and then the way I do it is when I reach the end part of my eyebrow I don't flick anymore I sort of drag it it helps me get the line I want without having it being really messy and um, yeah so just I drag it instead of flicking the way I did at the beginning so yeah just making sure that line is um, at the intensity that I want it to be so just going back in with a bit more product to make sure it is the way I want it to be so yeah, if um, you feel like the hairs are still coming back down, you can always go back in and comb them back upwards. Then again, starting about a quarter of the way in, we draw the top line. Again, using sort of flicking motions. And then my eyebrow has a bit of a gap in between there, so I just connect them. Even though I have no eyebrow hair there, it helps fill them out, make them look more fuller. And then after drawing that line, I just fill in that outer corner of my eyebrow. I bet you wish that you would have me. And now you're falling on your front teeth. Here I felt my eyebrow was a bit short, so I just dragged out that line a bit more just to give it the length that I wanted. Then without adding any more product to the brush, I lightly draw a line on the first quarter of my eyebrow. Really lightly, I'm serious guys. Don't press hard because you're going to have a harsh line and you're going to have to try and blend it out. And so I press even lighter on the top part than the bottom part because the bottom part being a bit dark isn't a problem. But the top part can be really bad if you press too hard. Then using flicking motions upward again without adding any more product to the brush, I just flick the color upwards so there's a bit of a fade at the front of the brow. If you see that there are some spots that you miss on your eyebrow, you can add some product on your brush and just fill those areas in. If the fade is a bit too light on the front part of your eyebrow, then you can again just build up the product but it's easier to build up than to erase when it comes to doing your eyebrows so if you're using less product that doesn't matter because you can always build it up don't put too much and then have to like take off your whole eyebrow and then start again so yeah building it up filling in the patches that have no product on them you can comb it out whenever you want because the hairs this is a brow gel so the hairs do get stuck to each other so if you need to comb it out again then just comb them out so you can find out where you miss the spot and where there's um, not enough product. 
So now I'm going in with that same angled brush and a brow powder. I use this powder to fill in the same spots we filled in with the brow gel to help set it and mattify it. And then without adding any more product, I just again on the front fade, flick it upwards to make sure that it's not a harsh line on the front part of your eyebrow. So now to clean up any mistakes that I made, I'm going in with a concealer that's a couple shades lighter than my skin tone and a concealer brush. And I like to start again about a quarter of the way in um, and then just pressing it in slowly. Some people like to drag it, it just depends on what you feel comfortable with. So I do press at the beginning and then drag a little bit. And yeah, so I just put that product in cleaning up any of the excess um, eyebrow products that I had maybe put a bit too far away from my eyebrow and then I like to drag it downwards so I'm spreading out the product a little bit so it's easier to blend out in a second so then I'm gonna end up blending it out with my damp beauty sponge we always like it damp because when they're normal they don't work so yeah just pressing it in to the eyebrow trying to avoid I mean to the eyelid sorry and then trying to avoid touching where we actually put the eyebrow product so we're just pushing it in to blend it out and trying not to touch the actual eyebrow because then you end up pressing it and it's damp and then you take off like half your eyebrow when you're doing that so yeah just carefully pushing that in to blend it out we don't want any harsh lines and we don't want it to be looking like a straight white line you don't want that because then it just doesn't look natural at all I did realize here that I had a bit of a sharp line on my upper eyebrow at the front so I did go back in and just try to blend it out with my angle brush because you don't want any harsh lines like that and that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Hang up the phone.